Thanks, everybody. It's a, it's a real pleasure to be here today. You know, I was, I was at a dinner last night with a group of CISOs, and, and sort of the, the main idea that came out of it was, it's time. It's time to demand more from our security solutions. It's time to expect more. It's time to get real value. Now, I've only got one slide to show you, then I'm going to show you an actual demo, because I think you've probably been PowerPointed to death this week. So I just want to show you some stuff in action. But before I do that, I just wanted to sort of stand on some pillars that represent kind of what we're doing with Cisco and sort of how we've aligned. So when we look at security, the three big things that we see in general in terms of problems are cost, complexity, and the lack of talent. So from a cost perspective, what we do at Veridin is we allow you, one, to make sure you're buying the right products, making sure that that thing that says it does that thing actually does it and it does it well in your environment, with your processes and your people. The next thing we want to look at is complexity. A lot of products out there are great. Some are smoke and mirrors, some are snake oil. There's a lot of bad stuff in security too, let's be honest. But there's a lot of great products. But a lot of those great products are highly complicated. They're very detailed. And to get them working appropriately, to get them working the way you want in a matter that you think is effective and efficient, can be hard. And once you do that, to keep it working and help mitigate defensive regression can be very problematic. So cost, complexity. The last one's talent. How do we hire good people? How do we make sure that that person that looks awesome on that resume is actually awesome in process? How do we make sure that when we get good people, we can keep those people and continue to train them and retain that talent? So one of the things Veridin does is a lot of customers will use it to evaluate new hires. Hey, we're going to run a bunch of attacks. We're going to see how this new person is going to respond to that. What will they do? Will they do a packet trace? Will they look at the IPS, log on to the SIM? What's their process going to be? And then continually practice attacks over time, help train, help improve these individuals, really address that talent issue. So cost, complexity, and talent. So what's Veridin? Veridin's a SIP a security instrumentation platform. Checkpoints a firewall, snorts an IPS, we're a SIP, it's something completely new. And the way we work is we allow you to safely visualize real attacks on your production network by validating not the door, but the lock on the door. We're not looking at your Oracle database, we're not looking at your Apache web server, we're looking at your firewall, we're looking at your IPS, we're looking at your SIM, we're looking at your endpoint security systems. We're looking at the controls you have to protect everything else, to make sure they're working the way you want them to work. Now, that's a lot of information. So how do you do that? So the way we deploy our solution is two parts. We have a director, which is our management console, and we have what are called actors. And actors are these little virtual machines that you put around in different segments of your network simply to evaluate how your controls are working. I'm going to put one in the internet zone, one in the DMZ, one in the partner network, the server network, et cetera, et cetera. I'm going to launch attacks. Veridin actors only attack other Veridin actors. That's why it's safe. But in doing so, they evaluate the efficacy of your security controls and your people and your processes. Did my firewall block? Did my IPS detect? Did my SIM correlate? And if that all happened, did my people respond efficiently and effectively? So that's what we do. Let's get ROI for our security solutions. Let's get products that actually work. So enough talking about it. Why don't I just show it to you? So this is the Veridin Manager. We call it Director. All these black circles represent actors within your network. This is an on-prem solution. It's a product that you run. It's not a service. Now, these Veridin actors can run as a virtual machine, dedicated piece of hardware like a Raspberry Pi, Intel Nook. It can be software, ISO image, whatever. Very flexible, even in the cloud. They only attack each other, and they attack each other to test your security controls, and then to continually test them to ensure that while it was working today, is it still working next week, next month, next year? So let's go ahead and run some attacks. So within Veridin, we have what we call simulations. And we call our attacks actions. And we ship with thousands and thousands of different attacks. Um, but we're not a threat intelligence company. We allow you to integrate with third-party threat intelligence companies like Anomaly. We allow you to pull in Talos. We allow you to pull in stuff from ISACs, third-party PCAPs, 
uh, information from malwareanalysis.net, whatever you want to test. Any raw data you can weaponize within Veridin to test it. It can be WannaCry, it can be the new WannaCry-like attack that came out just today, et cetera. But here's the real cool part. Whenever we run an attack, we don't just tell you there was a hole here. We actually tell you ways you can help address that. By the way, here's a snort-like signature that you can use to help detect that attack in the future. Um, for this one, we have an emerging threats. Uh, for this attack here, let's see, we even have some Talos stuff. So not just telling you where the security hole is, but telling you prescriptively how to mitigate that hole. And that's huge. So let's go ahead and run an attack in action. Let's see what these things are like. I'm actually going to go to a sequence, which is a chain of multiple attacks. And let's bring up uh, just one of these. This one's called Vautrack. It's broken up into a Bartlex malware download, which is a dropper, actual Vautrack attack, which is the malware that's going to look for a database to attack. We're going to scan for a database. We're going to dump a password patch. We're going to shut off the firewall. And then we're going to exfiltrate data via ICMP. A whole bunch of stuff, but all real world stuff. Let's go ahead and execute this attack and see what it's like in the real world. So I'm going to assign some actors. Remember, because the actors only attack each other. And say, OK, for this section, I'm simply going to have the desktop talk out to the internet for the malware download of Vautrack and Bartlex. Then I'm going to have it spread and move laterally from the desktop to, say, the server network. And then we're going to exfiltrate data from the server network back out to the internet. Again, very simple. Desktop user gets infected, moves laterally, and we exfiltrate the data. And then I simply click Run. And there's a whole bunch of advanced features that we're not going to get into, but we'll just say, let's run this attack as is. What you see here is a little spinning circle. Essentially, the director's telling the actor, OK, for this attack, you're going to be Bartolex. You're going to be Vautrack. You're going to download malicious data. You're going to exfiltrate information. These are the roles you're going to play. And there's a couple other things on here that kind of let you track what's happening in the attack, like the Lockheed Martin kill chain up on the top right. What's really interesting are these two columns, blocked and event. So block basically says, were you able to mitigate it? Did your endpoint security control stop it? Did your firewall stop it? Did your WAF stop it? Did your IPS stop it? Yes or no. We control state of the attack because we're the source and the destination. So we know empirically with zero false positives if it was a successful attack. Well, that's pretty cool. But what's even better than that is we have an API that pulls back into your SIM as well. Whatever SIM you're using, logarithm, Splunk, ArcSight, Elastic, it doesn't really matter. We can actually tell you, in addition to it being blocked or detected, did it show up in your SIM? And if it did, was it actually correlated? Because if it wasn't, no one's going to take a look at it. Nobody cares. So I actually ran one of these earlier, because it takes this is actually a real, a real attack running in our lab. This one's completed. I can click on one of these. Here's the Bartlex piece. We happen to have Curator and Splunk ES running in our lab. Here's all the attacks showing up based on what we ran, just for the Bartlex portion. As you can see, it's actually different what QRadar sees than what, than what Splunk sees, even though it's the exact same attack on the exact same network. Different products process things differently. But what's important is nothing matched a rule, which means nobody's going to take a look at that. But remember when we talked about the snort alerts and the emerging threats and, and Talos and everything else? If you add these three rows into your search in Splunk and create a rule, now you actually have something that can tag that, and you can find it in the future. Let's look at an example where that happened. So if we look at Vautrack, for example, Vautrack actually takes it to the next level. So instead of just looking at raw events, we're actually seeing here are the events that have populated in Splunk, but here's a rule. So very prescriptively, Veridin helps you write the rules that you need. So you can go ahead and tune your SIM, tune your DLP. And then you say, well, that's great. It's great that I can run these ad hoc attacks and the latest WannaCry or Vautrax or Bartlex. But what if I want to do this continuously? So what we built into the solution was a continuous data monitor. So remember the old days of HP OpenView? If I have a link between London and Singapore and it's green, it's up. If it's yellow, it's flapping. If it's red, it's down. Well, we don't have anything like that for security. I can tell you my firewall's up, but is it blocking the way I want? ArcSight's running. Is it correlating? Sp snorts up, or is it actually catching anything? Or did I put a semicolon in the right space? Or a tab instead of a space? Right? These are the types of things you can validate. So when people make security changes or configuration changes, you can actually assess and say, well, did it actually work? Furthermore, you can say, I want to run 1,000 tests every single day and validate that these things are working. And if something was green and it turned red, 
let me manage by exception, and then tell me what I have to do to go ahead and mitigate that attack in the future. So I don't have to have an FTE just focusing on the product. Tell me when there's a problem. And finally, I want to have reporting. So I can look at this information at a very high level and say, do I have red, do I have green, or do I have yellow? Red is bad, green is good, yellow is in the middle. And I see in this one particular area, there's a lot of red. If I want to click on it, now I have a high level prioritized view that tells me within my network, here's an issue. This one happens to be anonymous FTP. I've got it open. Maybe I'm not supposed to be running clear text protocols in this environment. Here I see FTP, Telenet, SendMail, um, uh, DNS, et cetera. Well, that's a problem. Somebody misconfigured it. So now I have a real prioritized report that helps me address these things from both a executive leadership perspective as well as an operational perspective. So that's Veridin in a nutshell. There's a lot more to it, of course. We have a demo in the back, but we'll open it up to a couple questions.